At Batty.com, we sell a parts kit to repair the dimmer circuitry. It contains a photo cell, a new dimmer transistor, and a dimmer capacitor. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the photo cell. This is the photo cell. It's very near the 12 pin connector. These are the two solder connections. We'll heat the joint, add a small amount of solder to clean the joints. Then we'll use our solder sucker. and remove the factory solder. Then we'll lift the photo cell away from the board. Next we'll use solder braid to clean up the solder left behind on the board. And we'll do that for both sides. Next, we'll remove the photo cell from this black plastic housing. The way I do that is from the back, I'll use a paper clip or an X-Acto knife or something sharp and just press the photo cell out. We need to reuse the housing, so don't lose that. Okay, inside the dimmer kit, is a new photo cell, a new dimmer capacitor, and a new dimmer transistor, as well as some solder to install the new parts. 99% of dimmer repairs only need to have the photo cell replaced. Start by replacing the photo cell, and if the backlight still doesn't work, install the other two components. We'll install the photo cell in the housing, making sure that one wire comes through each of the two factory holes. And we'll pull it in place. Next, place the photo cell on the board. We'll bend the pins to hold the photo cell in place while we solder it. We want our solder connections to be bright and completely covering the hole. Next we'll use some diagonal cutters to remove the excess wire. That completes the demo repair.